Hi Doug, ich bin der Marty Mummert. Ich bin aufgewachsen in Yarikandi, Pennsylvania. Die Leute auf meinem Vater, sei sei von der Familie, kommen aus Pigeon Hills, die Dalva Hivla. Pigeon Hills ist just ein paar Mile von Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Ich wohne uh, all the while weit do Haus in Las Vegas, Nevada. Und now muss ich sauer, es ist Zeit für Deutsch. Hello and welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. It's April. That means Major League Baseball is back in action. Of course, a lot of us good Pennsylvania Dutchmen are baseball fans, uh, particularly of the Philadelphia Phillies. That's what I grew up watching and listening to and supporting there in the farmhouse just north of Reading in Berks County. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, our viewers out there that are also maybe avid baseball fans. And you might wonder, why are you talking about baseball today, Doug? Well, it's because I have a really great story to share with everybody. And, um, you know, baseball has always been a sport that the Pennsylvania Dutch have enjoyed over the years. Church picnics, family gatherings, etc., etc., or just listening to the Phillies on the radio or or whatever team you supported. But did you know that there is at least one Pennsylvania Dutch person in the Baseball Hall of Fame? Now that might pique your interest. And the reason I said baseball person is because who I'm going to talk about today is not a guy, but a woman. Yep, you heard it right. A Pennsylvania Dutch woman is in the Baseball Hall of Fame. How'd that happen, Doug? Well, I'm about to tell you. Let me tell you all about Fern Shully. Schellenberger. In 1988, the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, which if you've never been, you have to stop and see it. It is really cool. Inducted all members of the American Girls Professional Baseball League into the Hall of Fame. And one of those players was Fern Shelley Schellenberger of Hamburg, Pennsylvania, a town that I know so well, having grown up just outside of Centerport. Hamburg was where we went every Friday for groceries, uh, and my parents had a bank account in, in Hamburg, so I know Hamburg really, really well. So we have to talk about Fern, because what a great story. Fern was a six-time All-Star winner of one playoff championship and considered the best third baseman in the league by players and managers alike. Fern Schellenberg played for nine seasons in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, or the AAGPBL. She played for two different teams, the Kenosha Comets and the Kalamazoo Lassies. Her name and the names of the players in the AAGPBL are listed in a special permanent exhibit at the Hall of Fame there in Cooperstown. Now, you may remember this league, which was formed in 1943 and would last all the way to 1954, made famous in the film A League of Their Own. If you've never seen that movie, watch it. Classic film. So let's talk a little bit about Fern. Fern was born on the 18th of May in 1923 there in Hamburg and growing up she was an exceptional athlete at Hamburg High School. Won winning several awards in track, excelled in basketball, golf, bowling, and of course softball. Shully, as her friends called her, continued to play softball in the Reading Women's Softball League after graduating from high school. And after a tryout for the AAGPBL, she was drafted to play for the Kenosha Comets in the spring of 1945. With the support of her brothers, she chose to follow her dream of playing baseball over the socially acceptable role for women at that time. Here's one... Um, uh, a comment about Fern from history. Let me read this to you. As time went by, Fern was always the first one to get picked. She was not only a good-looking young girl, she was also the best player there. Her posture re resembled that of a young Carl Ferrillo with his cat-like stance and dynamite arm. She could have beaten him in a foot race and was a whole lot better looking, with blonde hair tumbling from beneath her ball cap and sharp blue eyes watching every movement. She'd, first, she'd fist the pocket of her mitt, ready to pounce on the hot grounders that skirted near her domain. Now, what was that league like? Well, the American Professional Girls Baseball League played six nights each week with a doubleheader on Sundays. That's a lot of baseball. Think about it. And those players were paid anywhere between $55 to $150 per week, depending on their ability, and they were expected to follow strict rules of behavior and dress code. They were to behave with femininity and high morality, and each team would have a chaperone. All of that's covered in that movie, A League of Their Own, and it really tells the story really, really well. A little bit more about Shully. Schellenberger's career lasted from 1946 in Kenosha to 1954 with Kalamazoo when the league finally disbanded. The Professional League's official website describes Schellenberger as a, quote, 
fine base runner, a clever coaxing batter, and skillful third sacker and hard thrower. Her career fielding percentage is 942, is the highest of any third baseman in the history of the league. Her best season statistically was her final season in 1954 in which she hit 268 with 8 home runs, 58 RBIs, and only struck out 12 times in 332 at-bats. Her team, the Kalamazoo Lassies, would win the, pl the final playoff game and the championship that year year. Those are some crazy numbers when you think about it. And remember, this is baseball. This wasn't like slow pitch softball. This was the real deal. Not that slow pitch softball isn't the real deal. Here's another comment that I found online about Schellenberger. During the offseason spent in Hamburg, Schellenberger had been a leading scorer for the Hamburg Commandos women basketball team and one of the leading performers on a women's bowling team. She was among many Berks County athletes included as Berks County Athletes of the Century, selected by the Reading Times in 1950 for her accomplishments on the baseball diamond. She also is a member of the Hamburg Athletic Hall of Fame. The late Ruth Cam Kramer Hartman, a rival of Schellenberger in softball leagues around Reading and in the Professional Baseball League, remembered Schellenberger as the best player she had ever seen in Berks County. After her career was over, Schellenberger would return to Hamburg after her time spent playing professional baseball. She worked at the Hamburg State School and Hospital, which would later become known as the Hamburg Center, which just recently closed, actually. And there she would lead activities for patients with severe mental disabilities. She also took care of her father after her mother died. On Christmas Eve in 1977, she and her father were killed in an accident by a drunk driver, and she was only 54 at the time of her passing. A very sad ending to what a career and life that Fern Schellenberger led. Good old Pennsylvania Dutch girl. I can only imagine that there were times in those games where that Pennsylvania Dutch was going through her mind, maybe over English. Um, but, I mean, those numbers are incredible. For a man or a woman to be in professional baseball, thinking about some of those stats, I said only 12 strikeouts in 332 at-bats. That one alone made me really do a double take when I read that. So a huge shout-out to the one and only Fern Shelley Schellenberger, a great Pennsylvania Dutch girl who made it big in professional baseball and found her way into the Baseball Hall of Fame. What a great story. If you have an idea for a future video, email me. I'm always looking for something new to throw at you guys. But until next time, check out the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, if you get the opportunity. It is really neat to see. Whether you like baseball or not, or not the museum is phenomenal. I have to say, I've, I was, I've been there twice, and I'll, I'll probably go back again at some point. It was really, really, really cool. Um, keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. Get out there and throw a little baseball, maybe in, in Fern's honor today, and yell, here's one for you, Shelly. Chuck that ball at your friend, or whoever you're throwing baseball with. Until next time, keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch, and mox goot. Mark's good.